everyone, welcome back to another Lego review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, really cool kind of Technic slash moving part set, and that is Harry Potter's Hedwig, um, and this is what they consider a sculpture for Lego. Um, it is ages 10 plus, set 75. 979 labeled Hedwig with 630 pieces. Um, as you can see, it comes with two minifigures, well, um, minifigure and then an animal. Um, and then obviously the big sculpture is of Hedwig. We have the normal Harry Potter box. Um, so that is that. Moving on to the set directly, here is Hedwig. And um, pretty cool, pretty cool model, I must say, um, just straight off the bat. This one definitely has a lot of intrigue. It is very unique. Um, in terms of, of a Harry Potter set, which are all just playset builds, um, nothing very sculptural, uh, with the exception of maybe the Monster Book of Monsters. Uh, so it is very, very cool. Let's take a look at the like minifigures first. So they do come on this little stand that is removable from the Hedwig. You can display them separately um, or with the stand. It does work well without it, except you have one single stud here. Um, but we do get a exclusive Harry Potter minifigure. This is Harry with a scarf and with little blue winter gloves, uh, specifically from the Sorcerer's Stone when he goes to visit the Owlery, I believe. Um, and he's wearing these little blue gloves. And it's the only time you really see it. Um, but I believe that his, his torso there is, is uh, exclusive to this set as well. But really, really cute. I love the young versions of Harry. He looks adorable. And then we have Hedwig on this little opposite telescoping, uh, flipped upside down telescope stand. And it is Hedwig in flight, which is a new piece. Um, so instead of having the wings down, they make him in flight, which I don't think that they have for every single set. Um, so that's pretty cool. And she looks really, really good, of course. Here's the back. My only complaint with this is I wish that they had made it just a little bit longer because Hedwig, as you can see, does run into Harry's head because her wings are spread out. Um, so had it been like maybe one one little grouping longer, she would have been able to fit side by side. Um, but overall, I think that you get a great little exclusive minifigure, and it's nice also to get a Hedwig in flight. Um, like I said, they do fit on the little stand just like this if you'd like, or um, you can display them to the side. We'll go ahead and move them for the sake of this. Um, but you get a really nice base. Um, it's got a lot of um, studless edges, so it just gives like a really finished look. Um, this sticker is, uh, this this piece is a sticker here that says Hedwig, um, and then there's a little bit of gold rimming on the inside. Um, I also do like how these pieces are like translucent uh, red and yellow for Gryff or red and gold for Gryffindor colors, and it does go all the way around. It looks really nice. The base is fantastic. Um, the stilt that Hedwig is on um, is tilted kind of backwards so that you can kind of see her in flight. The letter is super cool. She's got her little claws on it because uh, like she's holding it in flight and it's got a little Hogwarts seal. Um, these two pieces are stickers and then that center is a sticker. Nothing is really printed except for the eyes, um, which do look nice. I must say the head looks a little bit strange to me. Um, it seems maybe a little bit small, I guess. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that, but it's not particularly round either, but you do get some nice uh, black pieces to kind of give the wings and stuff dimension. Overall, it's a pretty solid build. It is a little bit repetitive, of course, because you're building, you know, two sets of wings and then feathers. Um, so all of that. Uh, but there is a little bit of articulation. Obviously, the wings are going to move with this cool little, uh, what is this called, handle. Um, and then these pieces are also going to move. So you can kind of adjust her feathers in flight. Um, but of course, this is like a little double-sided handle, which is nice. And then the cool effect that you get is her flying. Doesn't that look cool? Uh, I think that that's a fantastic effect to this set. Very cool and very, very unique for Harry Potter. Um, you can also make it fly the other way, but that is not her natural flight. And also you do get a little bit of stress on the Technic pieces. You can kind of feel them wanting to pull against it. Um, it is interesting that they give you two, two little handles to, to do this from, I guess, if you want to, you know, hold it with both hands and wind it, but it gives a really nice, pretty natural flight look. Um, I, I definitely think that that looks very cool. Um, it does drop the wings a little bit. You can see them kind of jiggle on the drop, but it's not too bad. And I like the control that she seems to have over her wings. And then from the back, oops, I gotta make sure I do this right. Is it that way? Yeah, I think it's that way. Um, either way, you can technically do it both ways. Uh, but I think it looks really good. Um, pretty seamless. You don't see a lot of the technic aspects of this build. So that's really cool. It blends in well. Again, the black pieces kind of make it stand out, make it look like there's some depth in the wings. 
Love the little envelope. This is a $40 set, I believe. And I think it's a really cute one. It's a great little display piece. If you don't collect all the Harry Potter Legos or, you know, don't really care for the modular builds or the playset builds, this is a nice one to have, like, on a bookshelf with your Harry Potter books, I think. I think it's a nice little, um, like I said, a display piece, a little show piece. Um, pretty cool and unique. So, anyways, guys, that's basically it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and let me know what you think about this set, uh, in the comments below. And until next time, guys, um, I, again, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.